Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time I am going to be calling out Cash Dash 225 on Dueling Book. You're a bozo, play me for money. So last night he offered to play me for a hundred dollars, and it was 3 a.m. for me. I literally just woke up from a little nap, and I woke up, and I was like, "Yeah, bro, your brain dead. That's free bread." And then he went to play against me. And also, the main reason why I'm making this video isn't just because I want to play this guy for money. I mean, I definitely do, but. It's because this guy is actually, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say this, not just because I've had bad interactions with him. He's actually the biggest cheater on Dueling Book. The biggest cheater. The most consistent person. Every single match he gets into, I guarantee there has been at least one judge calling it. Guar it's not like John Jones where he slow plays. You know, there's a difference between slow playing and actually cheating. Like, like John Jones slow plays to the point to where it is cheating, but... It's just like really, really annoying um, where like this guy will actually cheat against you like consistently and then make you wait for a judge. And he knows that he can do that because of how long it takes to get a judge on dueling book at the hours he plays at. So we're going to hop into both of the replays that he played last night. And these weren't specific. Like I didn't specifically grab these because he's toxic or anything. Um, if you're a judge, you can check the YGO scope and you'll see that these are probably the only two matches he played last night. And hopping into the first one, we have Cash Dash versus John Jones. I don't know, this is this is just horrible. But we're going to see John Jones win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoe. Oh, no, John Jones' video is coming soon enough. Uh, 40 versus 40, these guys are both bozos. We got Map, Duality, Ostrich, Imperm Map. They have Merly, Terraforming, Instant Fusion, Medora, and Rhino. If I was playing 40, got to love to see it. These guys play it, ate it. Uh, terraforming, go search planet, activate planet, planet to go search, grab Shaylin. We only have Imperm as our only going second card here. It's like no way a judge call happens, right? They're gonna mill, uh, they're gonna get Calbeck effect. I might make more videos like this too. I don't know. Some people on DB really just need to be exposed, bro, because people just don't get banned on DB anywhere. And the people that are super annoying that are just there to troll need to be banned. So, Solic 3, Agito 2, Shaylin 1, go search for Havness, uh, Force Mill 5, Mill Rhino, Havness. Um, let's see, do they Mill Shifter from their opponent's deck? Nope. See Book of Moon in their deck, that's pretty bad. And then put back Shaylin, put back Druus Worm, bring out Mud Dragon. When, when John Jones says he's waiting, that's when you know that something's wrong. Why is Cash Dash called a judge? Think if effect. Oh, because he was thinking for 30 seconds? Okay. Well, you should probably tell your opponent why you're calling a judge. Otherwise, if you don't tell your opponent why you're calling a judge, your opponent's going to sit there because if you call for a judge, you're supposed to wait for a judge to come. You're not supposed to advance the gameplay. But if you call for AFK, um, or like, well, I guess if you call for AFK, your opponent's supposed to be AFK, right? But uh, if you call for like language or something like, oh, my opponent called me a bozo, then you're supposed to actually continue the game. And if you cancel and you sit there and you wait like 20 minutes and the judge shows up, you get frozen because you're not supposed to wait. <laughs> Summon Kikalos, uh, Mud Dragon called Dark so they can't improve this. And yeah, he's refusing to cancel the judge call. Heartbeat, add back crime, Kikalos effect. Tag out, summon, and then effect, so go mill 8. And then here they're going to mill scream, and then scream early. They're going to search, bro, what are you doing? Can you play the game? It's just kind of hard when, like, your opponent doesn't say anything. Like, I'm waiting for responses, you're not saying anything? Yeah, exactly. Kid, you're bad, the game just play. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's start this, let's start this. Every misplay you do, I'm calling out, bro. You are so brain dead, it's insane. You're actually garbage at this game. Quit being a spaz. Silence. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only time I've ever rooted for John Jones. Yeah, John Jones, get him. I'll take longer. Take a longer turn. Ten minutes? Come on, bro. That that's like normal summon Moe for you. Come on, I know you can do longer. Put back, summon out Garua. And then link off, go in the elf. Garua, draw on the planet, overlay, make Babuska. Yeah, I mean, you know they're on Flounderies, you milled their deck, so you summon this, you have Crime, that's just game. Uh, it's really hard to beat that, but it is kind of surprising that they decided to summon Babuska, not where Elf points to. 
Uh, especially after seeing that the opponent plays, you know, Book of Moon, you can assume there's Imperm in their deck. So, you know, I mean, that's just obvious. Like, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I don't I'll use summon it to, like, the one of the only spots you can't do. I think in draw phase, I'll let you know when I'm finished. Once again, cancel the call. Why are you calling Judge? You're doing this. Shush, thinking. Okay, so they've thought for... Yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy, um... He also called me a very immature child a little while ago. I, I just wanted to bring up that he's doing this right now. Uh, I don't know if I've ever actually played against John Jones. I feel like I have. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. It'd be horrible. You are mocking me. Shush. Stop distracting. Have a play. Don't be disrespectful. In main phase. Thinking. Oh my gosh, this dude's actually just been gone for 12 minutes. This, this is normal, by the way. This is normal for this guy. He does this ever. It's literally worse than John Jones. When is he going to get banned? Like, seriously. The thing is, is we don't even need to IP ban these guys, right? Just, just ban them. If you remove their account and make them start the format over at 100 rating, and then they start getting up again, and you're like, oh... You know, new account, you know, you, you completely forget about cash dash and you're like, okay, this guy is doing this big trolling, ban him again. And just keep banning the accounts and force them to stay in low rated and eventually they'll just quit the game and find a new hobby. You know, go play chess where like every, where you have like time on your turn. So you can't be like this. Same with John Jones, though. They both need to do that. They're both whack. <laughs> Holy... Okay, so about 20 minutes into his turn, has finally activated Pod Duality. Uh, doesn't even ask for a response either. Almost 20 minutes of no action. You deserve to be frozen. Kid quit holding me hostage. You not realize what you just did? You spent 20 minutes doing nothing. Son, I said thinking. Yeah, this guy also says son a lot. Um, this guy, this guy also try. I played against him, and I actually have a video about me, uh, about him being toxic towards me. He was like, bro, I'm going to be your therapist, G. I know you need this. You know what this guy needs? He needs to get his bread up. He's got cash in his name, and he's obviously broke. But he's going to go ahead, activate map. And he's just not even, he's not even waiting for the responses, bro. Like, your opponent could literally shuffle back and pop map on activation. So when they activate map... I thought the game was paused. It was. I, I don't even know how this guy was playing while the game was paused. Think on map. You do this every time. You have horrible reputation. Oh, bro. Don't worry. Everyone's going to know about you after this, too. John Jones may be a slow player, which is horrible. But you are actually a cheater. Um. So they're going to go ahead. Medora. Shuffle back. I said thinking... Have to target Merle, Solik, Agito, put all those back. Uh, new chain link will get planet effect to pop. Planet's gonna go ahead, pop map. Imperm target Babuska. They know there's Book of Moons, so like obviously they're not gonna negate it. Uh, they, it there's a decent chance they actually would have negated it just because Babuska's a powerhouse. But since they saw Book of Moon already, it's like, why would I when obviously the next play is just book on Babuska? So I may as well hold crime for engine. Which is probably just proper in the first place because you have Crime plus Solik plus Kaleido. So, like, you're able to interrupt them a lot. Um, and they have to also out Babuska. Like, you know, they, they imperm this, they have four cards, you know, you, you have a lot. Um, but you could just put them on have, like, another thing. But to be fair, it's all just because Babuska's not under Elf. Like, all I'm saying is that Babuska's under Elf, like, they have to Dark Ruler you. And then they have to have another Dark Ruler, and they've already milled one. So now they have to, like, see another Dark Ruler. So, yeah. 14 spectators watching this. Kid is so cringe. I don't even know this happened game one. The only thing I know is the end of game three. Eagle one, Robin two. Grab back Robin, go search for Empen. But like I said, this is literally every match, bro. This isn't me trying to find his worst highlights. This is literally both matches he's played last night. Robin goes search statue, tribute for Empen, Empen one, Eagle two, Solik three to try to negate. They said sure, that's fine. So they're gonna let that go. Grab back Eagle, new chain link, Kaleido one, Shaylin two. So spin back Empen, 
And then go ahead and put back. So they're just trying to take the body off board. And he does this every single time too. Offers a draw. If this guy ever offers you a draw, I understand it is so annoying to wait for a judge and everything. I understand. Don't accept the offer. You know why? Because this guy's a bozo. He needs to take the L's. He's actually bad. Like if you, if you get to like a grind game with him, there's no way you lose because he'll start misplaying every action. He only knows like the standard like summon empen statue line. Oh my god, John Jones needs to be banned too, bro. He does this every game. This is the second time this game, bro. Second time this game. In 44 minutes. Like, that's just not real. That's just not real. And if it is real, you actually need to go to the hospital. But, on to the next game. We're going to go ahead, and we are going to see Cash Dash, the final release player, go first. We got Shifter, Eagle, Harpies, Robin, Map. That's FTK. They have Solik. Yeah, they, they, only, they only have Abnus too. Okay, we, yeah, we just could do this game. There's no point, like... I mean, there might be something toxic this game, possibly. It's just like, the game's already over. You know, we have Statue up, we have Harpies. Um, our opponent didn't necessarily draw, like, good either, you know? So, it's not like they have a good hand to beat this. Yeah, hopping on to the next game now. Game 3, we are going to see... Flounderies versus Tier. We got Mega Monarch, Necro Valley, Imprim Duality, Imprim. They have Rhino, Strike, Dark Ruler, Merly, Havnus. Bro, like, why does this guy keep playing Strike in every deck? It's not even good. There's literally better trap cards you could play in your deck. You could just play, like, a third Scream. Because, uh, like, you have three Strike. Take take one out, add a Scream. Take a Strike out, add a third Solic. Take a Strike out, add a Meta Noise. Like, these cards are all good draws or good mills. So, like, I just don't get why you would play Strike ever. You'd rather play a second Crime at that point. Imperm. Actually, I don't know. I mean, crime, second Crime sounds pretty horrible. But, y you know you know what I mean. Just do anything else. Uh, draw Duality. Their hand's really bad, though. Um, They can't play through Strike. Yeah, they're going to grab Robin there. Put the other ones back. Normal summon effect, that's a bad play. You're supposed to activate Necro Valley first. How can you be this bad? You're literally playing in the Havnus. You're a bot. Weird. You're playing in the Solik. Weird. This is just horrible. Um, standard line of play for him, though. He's a bad player that also has to cheat. So activate Havnus. We'll probably try to activate Necro Valley mid chain link or something and say, like, oops, I already had this up. Okay. You're lucky the opponent didn't mill anything. So. Uh, they're going to grab Eagle, Summon Eagle, Eagle 1, and then, you know, you could Solik, but I don't think you should. You probably should just Strike. But yeah, you already have Rhino for follow-up. Set Imperm, activate Necker Valley, pass turn, draw Imperm. And th this is this one, he did it. Still, it's $100 money match, or are you still afraid? You know what's crazy? Is I, if I showed you guys every single message I've ever had with this guy, I am the only person that's offered a money match between us two. And he has denied it every single time. He, no, he wasn't the person. I was going to say, there was another person. Um, I offered a $1,000 money match, 2 to 1 odds. Or any amount, um, $10 or more to 1,000, 2 to 1 odds. If you don't know what 2 to 1 odds is, I'd put $1,000 down. They put 500 down. If they lose, they only lose 500. I lose 1,000 if I lose. That's just how confident I am in beating these scrubs. Like, these guys are, dude, they're like, they're not good. Like, they're actually... Whore, like, did you see this last turn, bro? It's flounder reason you messed up that bad. Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's every game he messes up this bad. So if I just pop out, to be honest, if I play against him, I'm playing Flounderies. We're playing the Flounderies Mirror, because the Flounderies Mirror, I'm 100% outskilling you in. 100%. I guarantee you don't know the interactions. And I'm side decking for the Flounderies Mirror. Um, my main deck, I'm not going to, like, ma prepare my main deck for it, because then he's going to be on something else. Um, but, like, I'm going to cook him. Flounder's Mirror, I swear to God. I'll, I'll ask him for his list, and I'll play the Mirror match against him if he wants to. Um, and this is the point, because I was in here. But the thing is, I didn't see this, because I was editing a video. This was last night at, like, 4 a.m. I was editing a video, and I didn't even notice this until, like, I clicked back on Dueling Book. And you know what? If you click off and click back on, all the cards, like, disappear but you still see the messages. And I saw this and I was like, what? So here's where I probably start talking and watch this chat right around now. Do people actually believe money matches are a thing? I mean, they are. <laughs> uh, 
Hey, if you want to, you can go ahead and check out the Coliseum link down below at the very top of the description. They host money matches all the time. They have middlemen, so that way you cannot get scammed by random DB bozos like this that you know will not pay. Get a middleman, and I guarantee your opponent, or I guarantee they, like, if you offered this guy, like, okay, join Coliseum, here's a middleman, he'd be like, oh, so I can't scam you if I lose? Oh, I'm not going to play that. <laughs> I guarantee that's what he'd say. Um, but I should start talking to watchers, like, right now. Yo, I said, cash dash, you are dog water. That was the first thing I said. I said, you don't accept messages from me anymore. Yeah, because he a after, I, after I messaged him, he switched it to where he only accepts messages from friends. And I actually sent him a friend request while he played this game. And after this game, he didn't accept it. He played another match, didn't accept it, and then hopped off. Literally refuses to talk to me, but he'll say something like this in chat, which is crazy. Uh, I said, allow it. Yes, yeah, so let's play for bread. Like, come on now. You know, if you want to play me for bread, I said, yeah, he's brain dead. It's free money. This is 3 a.m. 3, 4, 5 a.m., like right around there. Like super, super late at night for me. Uh, dark, attack Robin. Goes thinking calc, but obviously doesn't have anything. Doing math, sorry. See, I told you, he's literally brain dead, bro. He's literally brain dead. Obviously, he's trolling, but he's brain dead. Is that 1250? No. Yeah, it's just 1250. There's no way you cal how, how long did he calculate, bro? Oh my god. Cal he calculated for two minutes and he still did not get the life points right. That is crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying. This dude is literally brain dead. Holy. He cannot talk to me like that. Cannot talk to me like that. Cosmic, target the set, go ahead, banish it. They're probably a little bit scared. Um, just cause this duality could really go downhill. Yeah, yeah, hitting two can there is insane. It's like no way Cash Dash doesn't win this game. I don't even know who wins. I didn't pay that much attention. Uh Tukin, Eagle, grab back Robin, grab back Eagle, Summon Robin, Robin effect to go search, grab barrier statue. Summon Eagle. You do realize you did nothing in game one for almost twenty minutes. I was, I was probably talking a little bit more crazy in here. Yeah, it's brain dead, it's free money. One's brain dead and the other one plays strike and tier. You can't make this up. John Jones, if you see this, tell your opponent to check watcher. Yeah, I was roasting both of them, bro. This dude plays strike and tier. And this dude wants to play me for money, but then won't message me. So they're going to go search Empin. Uh, I will wait for Judge to come, which is fair. I mean... The thing is, is like, there's no reporting on DB. There isn't. So you literally have to have a judge come to your game for your opponent to get in trouble. Because reporting on DB just isn't real anymore. Like, you can literally get called the N-word with the hard R. And the judges will be like, have you suggested blocking him? And it's like, wh what? Alright, I'll never forget. Oh, I still have the replay to this day. 2019. I hopped into a singles on accident, okay? I played against my opponent. My opponent called me the N-word with the hard R. You know, that that's bad. That is bad, bad. You don't say that. And I was like, what? And I, I said, WTF. I was like, what? Wait for Judge. Judge showed up and said, since I swore at him back, that I'd be given a warning. I kid you not. That literally happened. I have the replay to this day to prove it. The judges on, like, some of these judges, bro, just aren't real. They're not real. Summon statue, battle phase, attack, and then, you know, they're going to activate effect to go search. So that's going to go ahead and grab it from the deck to the hand, grab Shaylin, and then poke poke. Okay, uh, set Dreaming Town passage or scream. Okay, so they have Imperm, Dreaming Town, Necker Valley. Uh, Dark Ruler is obviously going to negate the field. Okay, this is where we wait now. Kid, you lost. You do this. I'm done playing this duel. You're an embarrassment. I want to judge. Only stop when you can't win. You literally... That's a, dude, this guy's such a hypocrite. It's excusable if you're under the age of 15. You probably want him to be weirdo. You should have received a match lost in Freeze for we did earlier. But if you're doing this as an adult, it's so cringe. How do you explain not doing anything for 19 minutes? Take the loss like a oh man. That's what I'm saying, bro. This dude just... He's literally on here to, like, try to cheat. That's all he's trying to do. A watcher posted a replay of you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Um, 
Freezy Nice actually posted a replay of them doing the exact same thing. So weird. That's re that and then and then I personally have multiple replays of this guy doing it. Every match this guy has ever been in has had this. I whooped you on your main. Take the loss. This is an all of mine. I didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's just, he's saying that he has a main. Okay. Okay. So this guy should be uh, alt ban then or uh, IP ban then. Yep. IP ban him. Throwing a fit in front of people is shameful. You weren't disciplined enough as a child, and it shows. I played hundreds of matches this format, and last format you're the only one I played against who pulled this malicious stalling AFK. Hit him with a thumbs up. What's it say about you? No one else I played has done this. I had plays to think about, and look how it turned out. You lost. That was game one. You lost game one. <laughs> Take your loss like a man or don't. I still went either way. We'll find out. Wait here by yourself. All 20 people here know you lost fair and square. Seek therapy. Oh, and he left. Oh, weird, because he knew he was going to get banned. Because this guy will wait hours for a judge. He has done it before. He will wait hours for a judge. He knew that he would lose this call. So he left. And then guess what? He told this guy he needs therapy too. You know who I think really needs therapy? The guy that's telling everybody on DB that they need therapy. When they, You obviously don't know him, bro. You assume that he's... You assume that he's a minor for some reason. Um, I don't know. I think I think you're a weirdo. And then hopping into the next match, Cash Dash versus Wolfo. This time I started watching like right at the beginning, and I literally I was messaging Wolfo. I was like, "This is where your opponent's cheated. He's done it here. He's done it here. He's done it here." I was literally helping my. I was literally helping this guy out. Now with his plays, because like obviously I don't know what's in his hand. Map, Empen, Imperm, Gold, Sark, Shifter. They have Poly, Patchwork. Alibur, Murley, and Sprint's kit. They go patchwork, chain shifter. Okay. I guess they want patchwork banished. That doesn't make sense. Um, summon Alibur. Activate Alibur effect. They're going to go search brain infusion. They let that go. Brain infusion. Oh, that's what it was. You're kind of late. 4 seconds, 13 seconds. Declared the effect of Alibur. 13 seconds later, placed Imperm down. Has called the judge, question mark. He's made a draw offer. I don't know what you want me to say. You improm super late. Looks like you just wanted to see what I searched. Bro, it's late, man. No judges. How much of an advantage is knowing that a Despia plays three copies of Brain Infusion? That's that's not the point. That's literally not what he's saying here. Obviously, they play Brain Infusion. But they might not be searching it here. They could be searching something else. Is what they're saying. Like, to nitpick me on that is weird. We all know you play Brain Infusion and Despia. I mean, hey, if you want to try and cheat by seeing what I'm search, I'm not giving you that advantage. You were free to imprim the Lebellion. How am I cheating or whatever I summon? It's Despia. I'm saying that from my perspective, it looks like you're cheating. I don't know if you are. Oh, no, he is. He'll do this every single game. Bro, you don't want your Alibur impermed, I get it, but to accuse me of cheating to avoid it, being impermed is nuts. Waiting until after I search something, 13 seconds is great to see. I probably... Play for Brad, you offered, now it's time to play. Uh, I'll show my hand if it makes you feel better about yourself. Hey, you heard my point of view, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, Wolf was played on DB a lot. I remember, um, I think, I think this is the person that played Dino for a while. Um, they, they were always chill, you know, nothing, never heard anything bad about them. Oh, you looked at my hand, is that cheating? He... There's, there's a button called show hand and he pressed it and now he's accusing his opponent of cheating at looking at his hand like you just can't make this up bro you can't make this up bro I mean if you want to admit defeat you can your hand just shows me that you win if you draw any baby bird and you run like 20 copies of them this match isn't going to get you at a low rated bro you wrote this guy has 815 rated he is also currently low rated by the way I don't care about rating, it's about principle. Swear. Bro, it's not Sheen, we all know that. That's, that's not what they're saying, bro. See, this guy, the thing is, I've told this guy something like this before when he was cheating, and he also just couldn't see it from my perspective. He only thinks, like, he, he's, just, he's just brain dead. There's no other way to say it. He's literally an NBC, M, NPC, bro. I swear you go players do anything to win except get better at the game. Oh, I'm calling you out for every... Yeah, admit the feet, bro. Admit the feet. I'm calling you out for every misplay. 
I said, play me for bread, you brain dead flunder player. You're horrible at the game. Actually, a cheater. You quite literally cheated in all five matches I've seen you play. You deserve the ban blow, but not until you after. But not until you play me for that hundred dollars. Weird, you cringe. Oh, I'm, uh, I've been talking crazy on DB lately, bro. Because people have just been bozos. Like I'm making another one of these too. There was this guy. My, you know what? No, you'll find out. You'll find out. But we're gonna hop into. The next game, we're going to see Robin Adventure, Shifter, Map, Judgment. This dude just opens FTK game 2 every time. They have Instant, Harpies, Brain Infusion, Cosmic, Brain Infusion. Oh, you guys want to see a bad cheat? Oh, wait. Map, Reveal, Robin, Go Banish. Imagine, bro, I pulled the same thing you did to me. You saw me add Robin and Flu. It's cheating. Left. Bro, what? Yeah. Your opponent's not gonna like respond to you. Oh no, you saw me add branded fusion. Yeah, this guy's just bad. How much you wanna bet he like forgets to Oh I forgot. I, I know what happens in this game. <laughs> I was about to say something, that's crazy. This is what I'm saying! Like look at this! He goes to end phase. Okay, had to be a misclick, had to be a misclick. Because he was trying to click banish. But yeah, okay, okay. And then goes ahead and sets, passes. Okay, draw tragedy. They're gonna go activate harpies, chain judgment in response, and then chain shifter to judgment. I want you guys to understand that this is a chain link three, and that the only thing that can be responded to it is chain link three. He's trying to chain shifter to judgment right now. That's uh, not quite how that works. You can't chain shifter to judgment. Misplay, weird. Kid, bro, just scoop, weird, weird. He's trying to go battle phase now. I'm um, trying to. Force out the Dreaming Town. Yeah, they're not even under shifters. So like Dreaming Town set hurts a little bit too. So they're gonna go battle phase. And then they scoop. It's crazy. I said, bro, cringe for game one and game two. You pull that. Are we gonna finish this or not? Nah? I know for a fact no one talks to you at your locals. Cringe. It's not saying, bro. This dude just needs to be banned. Like, uh, every, every, every time I click next play, it's just more and more that this needs to be banned. We have Adventure, Shifter, Dark Ruler, Mega Monarch, Statue. They have Having This, Tragedy, Edgem, Zombie World, Opening. And this isn't even, like, I don't know. Like we've seen other people trash talk on DB before. But, like, there's, like, a difference between trash talking normal and trash talking like this. Like, if your opponent... It's like trash talking you, you know, you trash talk a little bit back, you know, and you're just like, oh, haha, misplay, 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 like, sure, but like, this dude is, he's just horrible, he just says cringe every second, that's why I, I kept hitting him with his own cringe, yeah, calling him cringe after you cheated twice, weird, <laughs> activate opening, chain shifter, discard tragedy, bring out Aluber, and then they're gonna go ahead, activate Aluber 1, tragedy 2, so Tragedy's gonna go ahead and search out Adlib, Aliver, grab Branded Fusion. Now here, I think you should probably Branded Fusion. Uh, here all I did was uh, activate Zombie World. I hope you're lucky you're enjoying Flu. So they activate, but um, I was gonna say they could have activated Branded Fusion and actually set up a Dragos to Palea. And you have like Dragos to Palea plus Zombie World. That's like really hard to beat because you need an answer for Dragos to Palea and you need an answer for Zombie World and you need Engine and you're only playing with five cards because you drop Shifter. So it's like not easy to out that at all. But just Zombie World isn't that hard to out because they can dig and try to hit a specific out for it. Pastoral Map. Then they're going to go Normal Summon Statue, Set Adventure Pass, Forgets to Attack. Keep clicking log. Forgot to attack. See, I was talking crazy. Goes ahead, attacks, activate adventure, tries to banish to go search, and then tries tries to do that, but obviously can't because zombie world. And then this is here, right here. I uh, I message the opponent and I'm like, yo, don't let him cheat against you more. He's already done this. I was like, you can't banish the yep, can't banish statues a zombie. You got it, kid. Hope this makes your life better. And then that guy just leaves. But weird, another cheat. Weird. Like, yeah, this, this dude, he will cheat you as much as possible. Every single time. I guarantee it. 
Um, if you play against this guy, watch out. He will cheat. Hopefully, somehow, some way, this makes it to a judge at DB, and this person at least has like a mark on his profile that like shows that he has a history of doing this because it's quite literally every match. I could show you guys the four more replays I have, including the one from Flaming Eyes, and all of them are the exact same. And again, it's not like we're trying to get specific replays against him. It's every replay he does this needs to be banned. He also plays Flounderies. Like, there's just no way you act like this and then you also play this deck. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. But, yeah, I think, I think that's going to be it. Um, if you want to go ahead, check me out on Twitter. I'm just at the DB Grinder. I'll, I'll leave a link to that. Look at that. Look at this. Austin Cullen is going to the World Championship. Konami. I'm crazy. But, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.